Okay, so for problem 5-7, uh, we have a thin conducting wire with a length 3w that forms a, an equilateral triangle. We have a direct current I that flows through the wire, and we're trying to find the magnetic flux density at the center of the triangle. So we have an equilateral triangle. Each side of the triangle is length w, okay? And we're trying to find the B field in the center. So to start, we are going to use the equation 5-34, so the general equation uh, for B fields due to a wire. Uh, and the B field is circling that wire, right, in the in the phi hat direction, okay? Let's start out with. So we know that it's circling each respective wire. Okay, so we need to find two things. Uh, we need to find the L, which is the length of each piece of, of wire. So if we draw R to the center of the wire, we have um, L on each side. Uh, and then we also need to find R, which is the distance of the wire. Okay. So we have three sides. So we have our R, right, coming from the center of the point to, from the from the center midpoint where we're measuring uh, to the wire. So R to the middle, and then each of these is gonna be equal to L. So L is equal to W over two, because in this case it gave us three W for the total length of all of the triangle sides. Okay, so we're using this equation. We're finding our sides, and then we are plugging them in. So we have three sides. Okay, so we're multiplying our general equation for a wire by 3, and then we need to find L and R. Okay, so because we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle in this case, so we have a certain um, relationship between the sides. Uh, this side is equal to x, x squared of 3, and 2x. So that's our relationship for 30, 60, 90. We have an equilateral triangle, so we're bisecting this angle. So this is our L, this is our R, uh, and then this is our little, um, kind of like our hypotenuse there. Um, so this is basically L squared plus R squared. So in this case, um, we can kind of do some, some fancy math here. Uh, we can find out that our L over R ratio is equal to the square root of 3, right? Because um, L is equal to uh, X squared of 3 and R is equal to X. So L over R is just equal to the square root of 3. That's a pretty simple one. Um, and then for the L squared plus R squared, I kind of did the math down here. Please feel free to look at it on your own, um, but you can go ahead and work through that one. But basically we found out that this is our ratio here. So we're just plugging in L squared plus R squared and then plugging in our ratio of L over R, just doing some algebra, simplifying and solving. So same approach here uh, as we used for the square, but in this case we had three sides and the difference was finding this R and this L value differently to plug into our general equation for the B fields for a wire. And then our final takeaway here is that we need to find the direction, right? So in the center of the triangle, what direction is our B fields going? Well, if we remember from our square, when we have our B field, right, it is rotating around this, this wire uh, in the phi hat direction. Um, so it's coming around and kind of pointing up here. So thumb in the direction of the current, right? And then we need to figure out the way that this B field is rotating. And we notice that they're all kind of pointing in and up again. Uh, and so our B field is basically radiating out. And so at that center point, what we're experiencing is a net positive Z uh, force. So there are B fields in the center. Uh, if, we're, if we're sitting at the center point, we're going to experience a B field force that is acting in the positive Z hat direction. So that's what we plug into our final solution here. Uh, we have our B field is going to be in the Z hat direction. So we need to go ahead and change that. Okay.